guys and welcome back to another Tea Tuesday. Today brought to you by my dinner. It's a, uh, well you can't see it. It's blueberry, so I'm gonna have blueberry tea. Let's get started. Um, so today's video is kind of a thing that I saw on a friend's Facebook post recently and a question that I got asked by a friend who is a political science graduate student here in Korea and I thought I would kind of answer slash tell some of the issues that I have seen and I have had friends experience as well uh, and the question is what is one of the hardest parts about being a foreigner um, when it comes to living in Korea, right? I've talked about like the hardest part about living in Korea in general is just, you know, the nature that people come and go. But I'm talking like some of the like legal things or day-to-day um, -day things wow. that kind of are a bit difficult to deal with. And for me and for many, many foreigners here in Korea, a big issue is bank accounts. Um, I have three bank accounts here in Korea. I have my main bank account, which is in Nonghyup. Uh, it's the first bank account I opened when I first got to Korea uh, because my school was an agriculture school and Nonghyup works with agriculture, etc., etc. So it made sense. And that and that's my first bank account. I opened a second bank account at Citibank uh, because it's easy to transfer money home to America. I have student loans that I have to pay back. Graduate school was not cheap, people. Graduate school was not cheap. Oh, jeez. And then um, I just recently had to open up an IBK bank account. Not because I wanted to. Let me tell you, not because I wanted to open a bank account, but because my school forced me to open a bank account. I was not happy about it. I'm like, dude, I already got two bank accounts. Why I need a third? Beside the point. That's not what we're talking about here. I'm sorry I got sidetracked on my hatred of having three bank accounts. It is so freaking difficult to open a bank account here. And the process of opening a bank account here is insane, okay? My Nonghyup and my Citibank accounts, when I first opened them, took over an hour. Nonghyup was like an hour and 15. Citibank was close to two hours to open the bank account, okay? They needs so much information, which I understand. They're trying to prevent money laundering and people doing things, etc. But some of the things that they're asking are just kind of like, but why do you need that? But why do you need that? But what, okay, whatever, good. I got the bank accounts open, not a big deal. The IBK was much faster but that's because my university has like a agreement with IBK and so like it took 30 minutes. It was super fast, super simple, super easy. But again, my university has ties to the bank and so, you know, it was easy. All I had to do was say, here, I'm a professor. Can you set me up a bank account? And it was really simple. But that's a privilege because I'm a professor. The other two were really difficult. Whatever, again, okay, I can understand. It's a process. However, what I don't fucking understand is my ARC, my alien registration card, is my legal ID in this country. It is tied to everything that I do here. It is tied to my employment. It is tied to my housing. It is tied to my phone. It is tied to everything, okay? It is my ID. I should be able to use that ID to do banking information and to send money to other accounts and to send money overseas and to do anything with my account, right? Right? I should be able to use my official government ID that was issued to me by the government, right? I should be able to use that. You would think, right? 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 Uh-huh. Uh-huh. No. Anytime you want to use, like transfer large amounts of money or just transfer money, you have to have your fucking passport. 
Why Korea? Why? Like, why can't I just show up with my ID like a Korean does? Because Koreans do have to, you know, show ID when they do stuff with their bank. It's a government ID. It is my legal ID here. I even like, if I get pulled over by a cop, that's the ID they get. They don't get my passport. They get my ARC. So why does my bank need my passport? You got that on file. You got that on file. You've had that on file since I opened this account, okay? Since I opened this account, why you need it now? You shouldn't need it. I don't understand why they need it because I have my legal ID. Don't get it. Don't get it. It drives me crazy. So I try not to do anything at the actual banks unless absolutely freaking necessary because it's so much of a hassle. Um, I have banking applications. All good, all good. But getting the freaking registration code to get the banking applications, that took a good two hours at Nong Hyup. Oh my gosh, did it take forever because I'm a foreigner, so I have to do all of these hoops to do it. And my Nong Hyup certificate has to be for all three of my bank accounts. So I have to link all three of my bank accounts together. All right, fair. That's nice, that's easy. Gotta use Internet Explorer. Korea, fastest internet in the world, loves Internet Explorer. Everything is Internet Explorer. Why? I swear to you, I don't understand this. And banking systems, especially, you have all of this bloatware that you have to download if you want to use their online systems. And it's like, why are you making everything more difficult? And it's not just, it's not just for foreigners. That's like not a foreigner thing. That's just a, a Korea banking thing. Um, and then <clears throat> another big issue that I've seen is um, they tell foreigners that you can't do something. Uh, I have not faced this, not yet. Um, knock on wood. I don't think this is what I think this is concrete, uh, but this is where my friend's post on Facebook comes into play. My friend has an F visa, which is a residency visa. She is married to a Korean. And you would think that that would make things a lot easier for her than us E visas, um, E series visas, which is teaching visas, uh, professional visas, etc. Anyway, no, that's not the case. She recently went to her bank to get her card renewed because her card uh, expired or something. I think it expired, okay? And it was a Visa card and it could be used overseas, right? Brilliant, great. You have to ask for that when you go and say, hey, I need to be able to use this overseas. You have to ask, but Koreans have to do that anyway. So she goes to get this card, a new card, right? She goes into her bank. I need to renew my card. I need to get a new card. She goes by herself, okay, the first time. Oh, foreigners can no longer have cards that have Visa or MasterCard on them. It's a new law. You can only have check cards and, and, and you can't use them overseas. We can't give you the same card. And she's like, but I have, well, that person who gave it to you was wrong. They shouldn't have given it to you. You can't have that kind of card anymore. She's like, all right, all right. I think this may be just a language thing. I'll bring my husband back. Korean speaker brings him back. Same thing. Foreigners can't have it. Foreigners can't have it. Foreigners can't have it. Goes to a different branch. Guess who gets a card? The subtle xenophobia and racism that some branches of banks present is annoying. That's um, a thing I, that happens not just at banks, but I feel like every time I go online and like see forums, people are complaining about this bank doing something racist or xenophobic, um, or this bank doing something, or this bank making it harder, you have to jump through hoops, etc., etc. And I get it to some extent, not the racism, I don't get the racism, I get why they make you jump through so many hoops as a foreigner here. I don't get racism. I don't get why you would treat someone the way that you treat someone 
and be like, oh, foreigners can't get it. Well, yes, they can. You're just not wanting to do your job because you're being a racist asshole. It's not a foreigners can't. It's a you're being lazy and you're being a jerk because you have to do one extra step. Literally one extra step. You just have to press way Drives me up a wall. Drives me up a wall. Um, and I mean, I guess, okay, that's, that's, um, anyway, we're getting off topic. Sorry. Well, this has been a very interesting Tea Tuesday, a rant edition, Tea Tuesday rant edition. Whenever I have rants, my video is very long. Okay. I'm going to stop this here. I love you guys. If you have questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I will try and answer them in another video. Uh, hopefully not rant style next time. Uh, until next time, I'll see you guys. Bye.